Should college athletes be able to profit from their fame? That is the question on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers today heard from college officials about the push for compensation. Channel 11 Samantha Manning live at 5 with the changes officials want to see. Peggy, the concern is that all 50 states can end up having different rules about paying college athletes if Congress doesn't act. That's leading to worries about schools having unfair advantages and students having to choose between making money and their education. From football <laughs> to basketball. <laughs> college sports are a $14 billion a year industry. Now two questions sit before Congress. Should players get paid to play, and should they be allowed to make money off their fame? That can include signing endorsement deals and monetizing Instagram followers like professional players. College athletes shouldn't be forced to sacrifice their economic freedom and rights. California has already passed a law that goes into effect in 2023. It allows student athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness known as their NIL. More than 20 other states are also considering their own legislation. Former college athletes painted a picture of what that patchwork of laws can mean for college sports. It looks like a 17-year-old high school student athlete choosing between two institutions, not because of the educational value, but rather because of which state has the fewest restrictions on the financial benefit. While witnesses testified to lawmakers on Capitol Hill about a need to make a national change, groups like the NCAA pushed for cautious oversight. Without proper guardrails and structure, some NIL proposals threaten to undermine the core values of college sports by allowing payments for NIL to serve as pay for play and potentially turning college athletes into employees. And 98% of college athletes do not go on to play sports professionally after they graduate. So college sports organizations say many of those rules about profiting off of fame will likely only apply to a small percentage of players. Live in Washington, Samantha Manning, Channel 11 News.